Dial tone has been scratched from the third heat and 19 parade to the post. The crowd still likes Egyptian princes and makes her the seven to five choice. The intruder and Bonnie and Rodney are each four and a half to one. All right, the starting gate moves forward for the third heat. The intruder has the rail. The gate springs open. Egyptian princess breaks out of that gate with the intruder. Nimble Kobe, Valiant Rodney, and Saboteur and Ego Hanover. Saboteur on the outside. Ego Hanover on the inside. It's Saboteur taking the lead now. Ego Hanover is the second horse on the inside. The intruder is third. Egyptian princess beginning to move now. Nimble Kobe is also on the outside. So is Murray. The intruder still comfortable along that rail. As they move down to the halfway mark, Saboteur has the lead. Egyptian Princess and Nimble Kobe both moving. Nimble Kobe moving the fastest now. It's Nimble Kobe second on the outside. Egyptian Princess still moving up on the outside. He's now third. It's Nimble Kobe on top. Saboteur is second. Egyptian Princess on the outside. He's now third. Ego Hanover is fourth. Murray is off stride fifth. Valiant Rodney between horses is now sixth. The intruder is now seventh. As they move to the far turn, Lullwater victory is eighth, but trotting fast on the outside now seventh. Over the far turn, Egyptian Princess takes the lead now. Nimble Kobe is second, Valiant Rodney is third, Saboteur is fourth, Lullwater victory is fifth. Ego Hanover is now sixth around the turn. The intruder is seventh as they wheel around the far turn now to the three quarters. It's Egyptian Princess on top. Valiant Rodney is second, Nimble Kobe on the rail is third, Lullwater victory is now fourth. Saboteur is fifth, Ego Hanover is sixth, the intruder is seventh. As they hit the three-quarter mark, it's going to be Egyptian Princess and Valiant Rodney. And along the rail, Nimble Kobe is third, it's Little Water Victory Nail fourth. Around the turn they come, and Ego Hanover still in contention with Saboteur. The intruder is still seventh, it may go another heat. It's Egyptian Princess on top. Valiant Rodney is still second now. Ego Hanover is moving fast. He's nailed fifth. He's nailed fourth. Little Water Victory looks for racing room. Ego Hanover and the intruder is coming five horses wide. It's Egyptian Princess. It's Valiant Rodney. It's Ego Hanover. Ego Hanover is coming strongly and so is the intruder and saboteur on the inside. Ego Hanover has the lead at this point. The intruder is coming on strongly on the outside. It's going to be the intruder. And here they are. And the intruder, a Cinderella horse, in every sense of the word, has done it. Upsetting the best of the business for the second straight heat by three quarters of a length in 2-2. Two -two. Ego Hanover was second, and Valiant Rodney third. The intruder pays $10.90 to win, and the son of Scotland, Mighty Margaret, bred by Walnut Hall Farm, takes his place within the ranks of harness racing's all-time greats on a game and gritty performance. The victory is worth almost $60,000 to owner Leonard J. Buck, and a percentage of that, plus a kiss from his wife, a poor trainer, Driver Bell, who celebrates his 33rd birthday tomorrow. Owner Buck, a mining engineer, stands between his trainer and retired harness racing great Thomas W. Murphy, Buck's advisor, and also the man who selected the intruder as a yearling. It's a great day for the intruder, Bauer, Buck, and Murphy. <laughs>